Hi, in this video tutorial of DT Register 2.7, we'll be looking at um, some more of the configuration options here in the back end. Um, as there are so many options, we have broken down the videos into, into pieces, um, so make sure you watch all of them. Uh, here we will start on the event listing tab. Uh, this version is for uh, based on version 2.7.0 of DT Register. Um, you can get to the configuration by going to components, DT register, configuration, or you can also get there from the control panel, um, the control panel area. So here I've already clicked on the event listing tab. You can see there's a few sections of, of items here, and each one does have a tooltip. Uh, we do work hard to make sure our tooltips are actually helpful and show you uh, information that is necessary to, to help you know what you need to do for each setting. Uh, so what you get here, uh, all these settings are in relation to the front end list of events like what you see here. So all the data as far as which columns are shown and which filters and so forth are shown, all of that is set right here on this tab. So we'll go through, most of these are self-explanatory, but we'll hit each one. Uh, the show month and year filter, that is the filter that you see right here that allows you to filter uh, by the month and or the year and see only events um, of that date. Show category filter, that is the filter uh, right here that gives you a drop down showing all of your categories and subcategories. Uh, the event search is what you see here. Uh, where you can just uh, type in information and do a search to locate particular events that are related to that. Uh, event title link. Uh, when you click on the title that shows uh, in the event listing, you have two options. You can have that link to the registration form, uh, or you can have it linked to the J events, uh, the J event sync. Um, the synchronization with J events is optional, so if you uh, if you're not using J events, then you're uh, then you don't need to worry about that. But if you happen to be synchronizing your DT register events with events in the J events calendar, then you can go with this option. Then that list will link you to the details view of the synchronized event. Uh, title width. This is uh, referring to the title column, and as well as the date width. Both of those are optional settings so you can specify a uh, an exact width of this title column and then an exact width of the date column. Um, and so that will that is something you can do to to make sure you know you give plenty of space. Um, that uh, just so you know that does not include the image. If you're specifying the event title width it's from uh, this point right here to the end. So if you're using all the buttons or you want to make sure that it doesn't wrap onto another line or whatever you need to do. Same thing with the date column. You can specify a width there. Um, show event date. So you can show, uh, show or hide that. Show event price. Uh, show price with taxes. If you set that to yes, the instead of just the regular price, it will show uh, the price with tax and then a price without tax. Uh, then show event capacity, uh, that would be to turn on or off that column. And then uh, show event time, uh, your, your options there are either you can hide the time or you can show the start time only or the start and the end time. And this will apply um, and throughout many places of DT register, not just that listing actually. So if I set this to start time only, wherever the time is being displayed, um, it's going to reflect that that choice. Uh, show the number registered. That's uh, the other column here. So it'll tell how many people have registered for that event. So you can turn that on or off. Uh, now here on the location, a uh, location is an optional function to use within DT register. And if you're in the locations manager, you can create uh, various locations for your events. Uh, so here you can say within that list of events, 
uh, are you going to show the location or not? If you do, it will look like this. It'll say location and then it will name the location. The location will be a link and if you click on the link it shows the location details in a light box window uh, similar to this and you can see I got a logo, I got address, phone, email, website um, all that information is uh, you can load whatever, whatever you choose to and then you have the embedded Google map of that address and then down here you got a link to go to Google Maps so the user can get directions to that location. Uh, of those settings here you can configure that. If you want to show the Google Maps link at the bottom you can show or hide that. Um, then you need to put in your Google Maps key uh, which you can get there. So if you don't have it click the link here and you can get that. It's free and just takes a, about a minute to get it. Um, and it will be specific to your domain name. You must have that for the embedded Google Maps to work. Um, location image and uh, the max width and height. You can set here how that displays. So regardless of what size it is when you upload it, this is the max dimensions it will it will display within that light box pop-up window. Um, the show past events. Uh, you do have the ability to to show events that are already over by default once an event is over it will no longer show on the list of events so you can uh, you can enable that to show them if you would like show registration button uh, the button that you see here when a, an event is open for registration um, that register button you can enable that or turn it off if you do not want the button a uh, link type for the event extras, an image or a text link. The event extras are referring to things like this. Uh, the register button, the details button, attendees, so forth, so on. You can go with the text link or the buttons. Uh, event list ordering, you have uh, manual ordering or oldest, newest, or name. Um, the date orderings, the oldest, newest, is not referring to when the event was created. It is referring to when the event occurs. So uh, if you pick those automatic ordering options, it will display your events. Now while the events all do display within their category, they will within that category they will display according to the uh, setting that you have here. And that will affect both the front end and the back end. Um, and then when you create new events, those events will be placed within the order um, within the order that you have uh, based on the order setting you have here if it's on manual ordering then you can go into the event manager and uh, use the the green arrows and so forth and you can manually put the events in the order that you want a uh, number of events to list per page uh, pretty self-explanatory how many you want to see before the pagination comes on uh, event thumbnail width and height that is uh, the the new thumbnail feature where you can upload an image uh, for each event so you can set a maximum dimension for that image uh, and then show moderator moderator is like the event owner um, that is a, a Joomla user that you select in the event creation process um, and so here you have the the ability to decide if you're going to display who that person is or not so you can see here I have moderator and it shows just like the location does so if the event has a moderator it's going to show here and then you can see here that the the moderator link uh, the name links to the user profile and that user profile link will take go to community builder or job social depending on what you're syncing up with um, so that's the other option here do you want the moderator name to link to the profile or not so you can show it without being a link if you would like um, so there are your event listing options and we'll jump to the calendar tab real quick uh, on the calendar tab you just have a few options uh, within the the calendar view and I'll jump to the calendar view quickly uh, you can choose for the event title that shows here do you want that title to link to the registration form or to the details article that's been selected for the event? 
Um, if you select details article and then you happen to have an event with no article selected, it will default back to the a registration link. Then you can set the start date of the calendar to be Sunday or Monday. And then uh, you can choose to show or hide category buttons along the bottom of the calendar that allows you to filter the calendar and only see events from that category. Of course, they show with the colors that were selected for the cat each category. Uh, wrap event title, uh, you can see here it's marked a yes, and the event title is wrapping, so you see the whole title. If you set that to no, then it's only going to display as much as will fit on one line. Um, so you can set that and whatever makes sense for your events. And then here you can see the time is showing. Um, you can turn on or off the display of the time. So set your items the way you want, hit save, and those settings will be applied. Um, we will cover other configuration tabs and other videos, so make sure you catch those other videos for any additional help. Thank you.